hello. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Hello, greetings, people. Uh, that, what a scuffed opening, but uh, this is the Outset AX from Vaxi, right? I said I would do a review on it, and I will, because I just am making videos like this for some reason all of a sudden. But, you know, hope you enjoy. Uh, this is a ergonomic mouse, if you couldn't tell already. Look, it's fat as hell. Uh, it's really nice. The clicking feeling, the sensation of the clicks is very wonderful and very spammy as well. Uh, the scroll wheel, you can scroll with it. <laughs> it's very loud and annoying, but you know, you'll get used to it. Uh, it's got some big feet, and I do appreciate my big feet. It just makes it so the mouse is less likely. Like with the Razor Viper over in this corner over here, which is covered in dust, so I'm not going to touch it. But uh, with that, like you'll press into a mouse pad and the sides of the mouse will scrape on it. And it's really just what, horrible and loud and annoying. But uh, yeah, the Razor Viper, man. That thing, I don't know if it's the body. or There's something wrong with them. Like, the design is... It just scrapes and doesn't work on some mouse pads as, as it should work, you know? But, uh... Yeah, this is a really nice mouse. This is pretty much my daily driver. Like, I switch between this and over here we got Zai's Rail MZ1. I Pretty much, like, every week or two I will swap between these two. Uh, in the review I did for this one, I don't think I was clear. Like, I do like this mouse a lot. But it's like an F1 car, right? Like, it's hella uncomfortable, but it do what you want it to do. And it, it's just, it's precise. But I get really tired using it, and it, like, hurts. My hand just cramps really hard when I try to use it. For, like, an extended period. Like, especially, like, the first day. I mean, I can, I can last about a week. And then, like, I just get t sick and tired of my hand feeling like it's gonna die. So then I come back to this bad boy. And this one, you know, honestly, like, I could use this forever, but... I do get my thumb tired. I'm not sure. I think I like index a lot with my thumb when I'm using it. I don't I don't completely palm it where I would just like go hold monkey hand it, but I do uh I do use my thumb a bit cuz I'm just so used to fingertip grip. Even though I also palm with this, but with this when you palm it, like you get all that extra space. So whatever. This isn't about that mouse. This is about this mouse. And this mouse is really nice. I love it. The glossy finish, I do enjoy this quite a bit, but I could see, if you get sweaty hands, this could be slippery as hell. Like, I have extremely dry hands, so I have no problem with this mouse just sticking. And Actually, I, it sticks too well for me. Like, there's times when I'll be playing a game, and I want to pull back, and it just gets stuck on my skin, and, I, and the mouse just doesn't go anywhere, and it just looks like I kind of stutter on my screen, and nothing happens, and then I end up dying, and I get pissed off, and I'm like, man, I should be using the MZ1 where that would not happen, because I have so much goddamn clearance with that mouse. But with this, you know, I'm traditionally, like, ever since I was a little boy, wee little lad, uh, always been a fingertip aimer, and used to play at, like, some ridiculous 16,000 DPI. Can't do that anymore without, like, breaking my fingers, but, yeah. For this, I do fingertip this quite a bit. Like, uh, I'll put some Osu image on the screen of me using this. When I play Osu, I fingertip this pretty much only. It's very tiring, and that's good for me because <laughs> when I play Osu, it all I always play it for too long. And in the past, Osu is the reason that I got RTS in my wrist. Repetit or R RTS, repetitive strain... Injury? RSI, not RTS. Sorry, I've been playing so much Age of Empires recently. Like, I played, I was, I was pre -prep prepping for it, you know, like Age of Empires 4 release by spamming the fuck out of AOT. Age of Empires 2. And, uh, it's pretty pog. And then uh, now Age of Empires 4 is out, and, like, I'm just playing the hell out of that game. And that game's really good. It's missing a lot of stuff, but it's still extremely fun. Uh, but yeah. I'll probably overlay some gameplay footage somewhere in here. But yeah, um, we got a, an emancipated Chinese woman dancing on the screen to increase the appeal. To, I know, like, people like women dancing, right? That's, that's a thing. So I set that to my desktop wallpaper just for this video. I totally don't use this all the time, which I actually don't because it's kind of annoying. It's a very low-res video. Uh, not enough about the ranting. I don't know why I went off on that. But, yeah, about the mouse, I think I've gone over what I wanted to say. Like, I've been using this for, like, 
ever since it was released. Like, I got the this, like, two weeks after I bought the MZ1, so it's been, like, six months about. Uh, the wire... The wire is pretty... Not great. Like, it's not that bad. I do have... Oh, wait. Um, I don't know where I put it. I am not sure <laughs> where it is. I do have... The old mouse. I, I used to have... I don't... I'm surprised this made it with me. Here it is. This lovely, majestical beast. The, uh... We'll just... Okay. I'm never gonna use this mouse again, but... I guess I'll bring this over. It's the... What is it called again? <laughs> what company is this? Zowie? Zowie EC what? EC2A? I remember hating this mouse, like absolutely despising this mouse. And the scroll wheel, dude, oh my god, it's sticky and stuff. Like, I've had this mouse for like maybe a decade. It's been a long freaking time. I do not know why I brought this with me to Taiwan. Because I moved here like four years ago. So this is probably older than 10 years. This is ancient, and the rubber on this mouse is like falling apart and disgusting now, so... Not good. Um, this is a very old mouse, but like, comparing the heights, right? The outset is what? How do we... It's taller? Oh my god, let's bring them closer. It's hard to make it out because, like, one is white and the other is black. Yeah, the outset is a lot more substantial. Uh, what about... The, the, the hump on this is further forward, and the hump on this is further backward. For me personally, I do not like this further forwardness. Like, with the... I guess I'll bring this dusty piece of monkey over here. The razor. Yeah, God, I don't want to touch these old mice that I don't use. <laughs> I'll have to wash my hands after this. But with the razor viper, uh, I really dislike uh, these elongated backs. I feel like it just doesn't give me like the grip that I want. Like I'm just not able to get the mouse how I want it to fit in my hand. But with this, it's nice and fat. And I like that fatness. I, I can see how a lot of people would hate this. If you're like a super palmer, this would actually be really nice, I believe. It really depends. Like for me, I just, I have 19 by 10, 19 by nine centimeter hands. It's not 19 by 10. As much as I want to believe it is, but it's not. But that's measuring from what? The top to here and then from the side to over here right before the thumb, yeah? But, uh, yeah, for me personally, the way I like my mice is not to have these elongated backs where like, I feel like my hand is slipping off of it. This this holds you, it tucks you in at night. It is just, it's right there for you and you love it. Like, my hand ain't moving from this mouse. It ain't going anywhere. I can hold this and be a happy little camper. But uh, I'm not sure why I brought this. Because this was the mouse that made me think I hated Ergomice, and then this is the mouse that made me realize Ergomice can be good. So, even though they're so similar, they're also very different, and it's all about just that little hump in the back. But yeah. Uh, the clicks, like I said, the clicks, I, I think a lot of people, what the hell, a lot of people won't uh, notice that, uh, how clicks can feel, right? But if you've ever used a Razor mouse, and then you go back to something with uh, non-optical switches. I'm not sure, like, just the the, the the click feels good, right? Like, I didn't. I thought it was a bullshit, like pseudoscience, magic meme stuff that people were making up. But uh, no, this this like, I don't know if you can hear it, but this sounds horrible. It feels horrible. <laughs> I don't know, I was a happy boy when I had- I did put on the Arctic slides or whatever. Whatever uh, Esports Tiger makes for the mouse feet. Arctic ice or something. But yeah, uh... If you never- if you don't want to be disappointed with razor mice and optical switches in general, never- never buy one of these newer mice with the good switches. I think this one's using like them, uh... What is it? Omron, whatever's. Okay, so just gonna interrupt the video. Uh, at some point in this video that I made, uh, I said something about the switches. Uh, and yeah, it uses a... What is it called? Like, Huano? Huano 60-something switches? They're not Omron, right? I thought they were the new Omron switches, but they're not, so... 
Just wanted to plug that in and, you know, clear up any misconceptions. So, uh, I guess we go back to the video now, yeah? It's like, futuristic mega switch that I think helps, doesn't, like, it prevents the double-clicking BS that you get with, uh, the older ones. Like, I remember, I've, every freaking Logitech mouse I've owned has eventually ended up double-clicking. Which is absolutely unfortunate. But, uh, I think they fixed that in, like, the G Pro wireless super light or whatever because now they got these newer better switches that won't do the double clipping double clicking but uh the switches i really like are these uh the kales on the uh the mz1 here i really like these switches they're heavy like i don't know they just feel good maybe not good for uh games we gotta spam really hard but it feels good um this is really going off on a tangent not about the mouse but <laughs> So I guess I'll close this up with uh, just saying this is a really great mouse and you should buy it and you will not regret it unless you, uh, unless you do. Then that will just be unfortunate. But for me, the shape is king and this shape is just so amazingly good that it's hard not to recommend, right? Like, this is just a really great mouse. I don't remember what any of these buttons do at the bottom here. They probably do something. I know one of them's got to be DPI. And I remember when I first got this feeling like some of these buttons... Oh, they have the writing there. So you can barely see it. It's very re hard to read. DPI. DPI rate. Oh, polling rate. Okay. Not sure why it needs to be three buttons, but it is. And I guess that's fine. But yeah. Everything about this mouse is pretty great. Uh, and you won't regret buying it. I don't know how much it costs, but... It's probably reasonably priced, right? <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah. I guess that's it. Uh, oh, I guess uh, one last thing would be these side buttons. Uh, the side buttons are great. Uh, honestly, they're really good. Like, th this one's got pretty shit side buttons. The Viper. Because they kind of, like, tuck in and feel like they actuate at different points. And they feel different as well. But these ones feel identical and they don't actuate at different areas. Like... I don't know, it just feels really good. Everything about this feels very solid and really, very well made. But, uh, yeah, sorry for, uh, this video seems to be very uninformative. But I hope that these thoughts that I have had and that I have ranted about into the camera will, uh, aid you in your decision to buying a mouse. And with that said, I guess uh, we'll say bye bye to Aguo Mei Tian Do Bu Xiang Dong from Billy Billy. Uh, oh, she left. That's a good time to cancel the video. Okay, bye bye, folks.